In this video, I'll teach you how to add and remove columns in the grid view of Project for the Web. Whenever you create a new project in Project for the Web, the software always gives you a preset collection of columns. But I can guarantee you that as you plan your project, you'll probably want a different set of columns. And then later, during the execution stage of the project, you'll probably want a completely different set of columns. So in this video, I'll teach you how to add and remove columns in Project for the Web. So let's get started. In every new project you create in the Project for the Web application, the software automatically displays the Quick Look column, the Assign To column, and the Duration column by default. If you want to remove a column, all you need to do is to click in the column header and on the menu choose Hide Column. If you want to add additional columns, all you need to do is to click the Add Column Virtual Column header where you have the option to create a new custom column or to insert any of these default columns that are available in the software. In this video, I want to show you which columns I recommend that you include at each stage of the project management life cycle. So for example, during the task planning process, I recommend that you remove the Quick Look column, and I recommend you remove the Assign To column. And then I recommend that you add the Start column and the Finish column and the Dependence After column. And I recommend you add the Depends On column as well. What this gives you is the list of columns that you will need during the task planning process. With this layout, you can enter a duration value for each task. You can enter start and or finish dates if that's what you need. But more importantly, you can also set task dependencies to tell Project for the Web the order or sequence in which tasks will occur. During the assignment planning process, I recommend that you remove the column Dependence After and the column Depends On. And then I recommend you add the column Assigned To and I recommend you add the column Effort. Once you have these columns in place, you're ready to begin assigning resources to tasks. You can see current durations, the current scheduled start and finish date for each task. Based on that information, you can use the Assign To column to assign each task to a team member. And if necessary, you can also enter the effort or work required for the team member working on the task. During the execution stage of the project where you need to enter task progress, I recommend that you remove the Assign To column, and I recommend that you remove the Effort column as well. And then I recommend you add the column called Percent Complete, and you add the column called Effort Completed, and finally add the column Effort Remaining. So now based on this set of columns, you're ready to enter task progress using the Percent Complete column. You'll also see the Calculated Effort Completed and the Calculated 
effort remaining values for each task as you enter that progress. Now, the task planning, assignment planning, and execution stages of the project you can mix and match the columns that you want during those stages. This is just a starter list to help you get going with using Project for the Web. There you have it. That's how to add and remove columns in the grid view of Project for the Web. If you're a new user of this tool, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep learning about features and how to use them to your maximum benefit. If you do subscribe to my channel, be sure and click the notification button so you'll be the first to know whenever we upload a new video. If you have fellow Project for the Web users who could benefit from these videos, please share them with your fellow project managers. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.